My name is Lucas Thal Madison, aka LSM. You'll find me at LSM Connected on Instagram. And we're gonna do five questions with new schoolers. Flynn underscore Blumps. How and when did Bunch begin, and how was it affected your life and skiing? Huge, huge effect. Like Bunch is like my whole ski career, pretty much. I, both me and Magnus started skiing when we were like 13 and we got super into skiing. I met him actually once before school, but when we started the ski academy together and Paben and Jay Nilla and everyone, that's like where things really took off and we were just like such ski nerds that finally like could nerd out together. <laughs> and we were just watching like edits all the time, like during lessons at home skiing at lunch break, skiing after school. We also started filming at that time and that's like how our crew began. The bunch is like a huge part of like my last eight years. And it's like all my best homies and we like to do the same stuff. And I think we're just gonna keep on doing it for a while and we'll see what happens. I think the future for the bunch is looking very bright. Question is from Senjamin. Is clothing a big part of your skiing? Um, yes and no. It's fun, I think, to like swag up so you can like put more swag in your skiing when you're feeling good, you're hyped, you got like the confidence. I think confidence is a huge thing when you're trying to get stuff or just like getting into flow. Because flow for me is kind of like the same thing as confidence. You're like you feel that you're on your stuff and you can just like, I think I can do that, I think I can do that. And then you just like try all sorts of things. That also goes with clothing. I like to like swag around with different types of clothes. I don't really have like one type of clothing setup that I like more than the other. I like to just play around a lot. That's like my personality, I guess. Question from splat underscore Reeves nine. <laughs> Uh, does trick difficulty or stees matter more? Well, they're the same thing if you ask me. To me it's not like about tech or stees or which one is better or not. Like, it's all the same thing. Like, doing like a stees trick to me is like, could be really tech too. You say that, oh, like tail press, that's like a stees trick. But doing a really good tail press, that's like really tech. So. I think they both go together, kind of, and I don't really see any difference in both of those, so... Both super important, both not that important. I don't know, it's just skiing, like... It's your skiing that matters, and you're gonna do whatever you want with your skiing. Then what other people say about it, that's like, their thing. Swan Dog 7 What is it like riding with Oenthropy instead of Atomic? Definitely have way more, like working way closer with ON3P and got to be a part of their whole production and since Magnus is on ON3P as well we're like having a super close connection with them and we're working on developing skis, movie projects, all kinds of things so it's like a family that's like are all working as one organism to make some sick stuff. Seth Doc Gray, plans for the future. Um, I'm aiming to bring my park swag into the backcountry. That's like my main goal in life right now. That's kind of like all I'm focusing on. I'll definitely ski like some urban and some park, but I just really like spending time in the mountains and I'm learning so much stuff out there that it's like too fun to pass out. And people are definitely like, are you really gonna leave the park scene? And street scene like that sketchy like you might not make it in the pow scene but whatever like that's how it's been for me the whole my whole career like I never really listened to what anybody else said people have been telling me not to do shit all the time so I'm just gonna go for it and we'll see what happens I'm so stoked and I, I think I got something going on in the backcountry that we haven't really seen yet <laughs>